crazy here. All right, we've done some flying, time for a road trip. Where to? Well, all in good time. Today, we're in Kingston and specifically here in Villa Bellevue, known best as the temporary abode of the craziest, well, maybe just one of the craziest of them all. But I'll get back to this. When we passed through Kingston last year, it was closed because of COVID. Now the interior is still closed for renovation. But never mind, because you can see it all online on this amazing tour on the website. Right now, the fan lives outside. The local time is around 1850. And the first stop is Victorian Playroom. And it's not exactly child's play. That one's called Catch the Fish. Did I do it? Um, sure, I, I could try. <laughs> Yeah. Now, so, do or not do, there is no try. <laughs> Catch it if you can, I mean. Or there is Jacob's Ladder. See, it's magic. I don't know how it does it. Is it something to do with the ribbons? Probably, but... <laughs> so, the dancing fellow, so you'll just hold it like this, just stack it all up. Yeah. Nice and tidy. And then you're going to want to grab the four in the middle and then let the two bottom ones flop down. And then pinch the two middle ones on the top. Okay, so that this, yeah. Yes, yep. there you go. And then there you go. It dances. <laughs> no, he's like swimming. We're flying. <laughs> so, you know, being a child back then, really required some skill. Yep. Now you've got your stack them, darling. But I guess so does Minecraft. So, we had our fun. Time for a look at the garden. This is a Victorian working kitchen garden. Because you were generally best off growing your own. It is the month of August. So, the early fruit is gone and the apples aren't yet ready, but there is still plenty of interesting stuff to see here. As the head gardener can tell you. This one is called Lamb's Ear. Ooh, they're lovely, they're like a kitten. It's like a lamb's ear. I've never felt a lamb's ear. <laughs> Absorbing blood, it has antiseptic and uh, antibacterial properties. Seriously, oh, we want to grow some then. Well, it actually um, can be used as soap, so it lathers oh. really, really nicely. And it would have been infused with something like lemon balm, rose, or lavender. The few times that uh, so people So what, what do you just you just dig up the root and uh, what do you grate it or you, it just? Ladder is like a, like a bar of soap. It's got kind of like a substance that emits from it and it makes it very good at ladder. It's like a potato, sort of. These weeds actually make yellow dye. The straw on the ground is to keep away the weeds and we ventured a theory, slugs. I guess that would make sense, but we don't really have a slug problem here. There used to be a pump Originally, drawing water from the lake, but not much of it left today, if that is where he's going with that bucket. Right, so 
That was the working garden. This is the leisure spot. You can just imagine sitting here with your morning coffee. If only those servants could stop milling around. Oh, I know. Maybe they need the facilities. Leather box! It still has a hole! Is it empty though? No. No? It's I actually in use? I can't see anything, so I'm not... A deposit. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and then there is the coach house, containing an exhibition about the houses and Kingstone's most famous resident, John A. Macdonald. If, like me up until about three years ago, you have never heard of the man, here is the roundup. A lawyer, businessman and politician, raised, if not born in Kingstone, he lived here in many houses of which Bellevue is the last one standing. He lived here in 1848 and 9. It was not a happy time. His son died wife was constantly ill and overdoing it on the opium. The business wasn't paying the rent. Yeah, 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 you say. But what is he famous for? In short, for having a crazy idea, like some of the other people who came here and refused to leave. Even though the winters are too cold, the summers are too hot, the mosquitoes are bigger than the geese, and if neither of these got you, well, there's always the bears. Anyways, John A's crazy idea was that all this east to west should be one, and strong enough to resist the pull of the states to the south. I mean, it was the 1840s, maybe 50s. That was madness. But he had a method to it. And that led to the creation in 1867 of the Canadian Confederation. It should not be confused with any sort of independence, but came to be accepted as the third date of Canada as a country, which made John Macdonald the gloriously spotless father of the nation. Things have rather turned around these days. As new evidence of the dark past comes to light, Macdonald is pictured as more of an evil stepfather, the villain of the piece. Statues are being removed, schools and streets renamed, which is as skewed as the former adulation, in his lifetime by no means universal, because whether you choose to only see the good or only the bad, you're only seeing half of the story, and that historically has the habit of coming back to bite you. So criminal things happened, that has to be remembered and worked through, but equally as well, the fact remains, if not for Macdonald, North America would have been one country. Clue. Wouldn't be Canada. Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? This one people have to answer for themselves. What they're trying to do here, I oh know, do or not do, there is no try, is to show you the whole story, the light and the shadow side by side. It's a little crude, as first attempts are, and there isn't much space. But at the end, you get to ask yourself the one question that matters. What will you do to make it better? Because, you know, casting stones is easy. On that note, we're leaving. <laughs> so 
So, where can we go here in the evening? Well, not downtown. It is, dear friends, half past nine. Okay, on the Monday night. The lake is always open. And this nice new pier is popular. When it's too dark for swimming and the moon is out, I do recommend a stroll through the main university campus. It's magical in the moonlight. And you won't even be on your own. Nice place to stop that, Kingstone. What shall we do tomorrow? Gremlin on the road. There's another guy on the further in front also wearing red. So there's something about wearing red. Where we did that before. Um, <laughs> No, no. no, wrong country. No. Wrong country, it's Burke's Canada, clues in the name. It was in Canada. Oh, oh well done. It was in <laughs> Montreal. <laughs> the Riviera. No. no. It was out of Green Gables in... It was the Green Gables. Remember? In... Scavenger hunt together. What province? That was in England. Prince Edward Island? Mm, yes. Oh. 